math isn't difficult math is fun i am nilakanta babu prakash and i am the fastest human calculator in the world and we are exploring infinities exploring infinities is here in front of you to give you a mathematics learning experience like never before with expert trainers from around the country we are here to make you learn math the right way Well hello everyone I am Anvi from Exploring Infinities and I am here to make maths easy and more fun for you So today we are going to begin our new chapter on similar triangles So before getting into the chapter I would like to get this one thing out of your minds and cleared that uh, a lot of students including me uh, are scared of maths in general and if you have that phobia you won't ever be able to learn what you are learning right now so get that fear aside uh, if you start practicing if you start uh, paying attention to what you are learning right now and what your textbook is showing uh, i think maths is really easy and fun so with that kept aside uh, let us get started with this chapter on a positive note okay now firstly when i talk about similar triangles let us firstly talk about what are similar figures and why do we learn sim- similarity what is its importance so don't laugh at me but i have something so as you can see this uh, pretty much looks like an old washing machine toy so this is actually one of my toys and as you can see this washing machine toy is not my actual washing machine but it is similar to my actual washing machine okay so similar figures are something which look alike but they are not the same so like this washing machine this toy washing machine is a miniature of an actual washing machine now other than washing machine uh, let me give you another example and that would also clarify why we learn something like this so let us imagine that i am a civil engineer and i want to build a bridge between point a here and point b here now uh, if i go to the governor of the city and i tell him uncle uncle i want to draw a bridge from this point to this point he would never agree to it why because he doesn't know what i'm up to if i want to build a bridge if i want to show him how uh, things will go on and how much time it will take and what will be the dimensions of the bridge i would have to show him an outline of the bridge so what i would do i would uh, prefer drawing a bridge an actual bridge from point a to point b on a graph paper which would be similar to the real bridge so uh, on that graph sheet on that drawing of that bridge uh, what i would do i would actually uh, specify uh, where that bridge will begin where it will end how many pillars will that bridge have how many uh, what would be the length and dimension and uh, everything and uh, how much area would that bridge cover and all those small small details and then on based on that i would calculate how much days it will take how much uh, cost it would incur and how much manpower would be required and etc etc when i would show the governor this figure on the graph he would actually think yeah that makes sense so that is what is more towards what we are actually going to learn similarity in polygons so since we are talking about similar uh, similarity in polygons and uh, i thought let us take an example of a triangle only since the chapter is also about similarity in triangles so here i have constructed two triangles triangle abc and pqr uh, which are equilateral triangles now what are equilateral triangles i hope you know this equilateral triangles are basically the ones where in each angle measures to 60 degree and i have written there uh, respective lengths since in equilateral triangle all the sides are same so ab is equal to ac is equal to bc which is equal to 2 cm and in this pqr triangle pq is equal to pr is equal to qr which is 3 cm now uh, there are basically two conditions that you have to keep in mind for this whole chapter i would just write the keywords and then i would let you know what 
that means a uh, ratio second angles equal what this means is that when we are talking about two figures so in two any two figures if we want to prove that they are similar or not we have to uh, prove these two conditions right so the first condition is that the corresponding sides should be in a ratio or should be proportional and the second condition is corresponding angles are equal in triangle abc and triangle pqr Firstly, if we talk about corresponding sides being proportional, what does that mean? It means that simply AB divided by PQ should be equal to AC divided by PR which should be equal to BC divided by QR. And in our case, now since we have our ABC triangle and we know the dimensions, AB divided by PQ is equal to what? 2 by 3. Similarly, AC is 2 cm, PR is 2, 3 cm, BC is 2 cm and QR is 3 cm. So here, uh, the corresponding sides are proportional or they are in a particular ratio. The ratio is 2 by 3. Okay. Now talking about the second condition, it is that corresponding angles should be equal. What does that mean? Angle A should be equal to angle P. Angle B should be equal to angle Q. And angle C should be equal to angle R in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. If that is true, then the second condition is also satisfied. So this is the first condition now. Second condition angle A should be equal to angle P. Angle B should be equal to angle Q. And angle C should be equal to angle R. In this case, each angle measures to 60 degree. So in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, the corresponding sides are also in a ratio and the corresponding angles are equal which is 60 degree. So we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. That is how you prove the similarity. Now these two conditions hold true for all the polygons. So I have one task for you. So please excuse my drawing here, but I have constructed two squares ABCD and PQRS. Now you have to prove that are these two squares similar or not. How would you do that? You have to first keep in mind whether the corresponding sides are in a ratio, yes or no, and whether the corresponding angles are equal. So how would you do that? Let me give you a hint. So in a square you know that all the sides are the same. All the sides AB would be equal to BC which would be equal to CD which would be equal to AD. Okay. So all the sides measure 1.5 centimeter. Similarly in the square PQRS all the sides measure to 4.5 centimeter. Respectively. So now you can make out something about the sides, corresponding sides. Now talking about the angle. So in a square, talking about angles, all the angles are equal and they are all what? They are all right angles. So in this case, you have four right angles where ABCD and you have four right angles in PQRS. I'm sure you already have your answers with you. But if you still find uh, a little difficulty in this uh, concept, you can always look back at these two principles, these two conditions and you will be able to find the answer very easily. So with that, we are done with the first lecture. Please keep practicing maths uh, and thank you. And so we come to an end. 
to today's lecture. Thanks a lot for watching this and stay tuned for the upcoming ones. Don't forget to follow at the rate fastest human calculator and at the rate exp.infi on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel.